as England celebrated their European Championship final victory in London's Trafalgar Square on Monday, BBC presenter and former Lionesses right back Alex Scott handed Lucy Bronze the mic and asked, what makes this team so special? Bronze paused for all of half a second and replied, Jill Scott. Her team mates behind her cheered and whooped, as did the 7,000 fans in attendance. Scott let out an embarrassed laugh as her namesake turned to her and gushed, Jill Scott, why? Oh you are loved and adored. You've been around the team for a lot of years, and this is your moment also. The 35-year-old has waited a long time to win something with England, 16 years and 10 major tournaments, to be precise. Finally, she has a winner's medal around her neck. Scott has played in five semi-finals for England and is the only player left from the crushing 2009 Euro final defeat to Germany. To say Sunday's victory over the same nation at Wembley was a full circle moment is an understatement. Scott came on in the 88th minute of a game England would win 2-1 after extra time to replace Georgia Stanway, who had carefully battled away in the middle of pitch after picking up a yellow card more than an hour earlier. Entering the game with the scores level but England on the back foot, just like Stanway before her, Scott immediately began biting at the ankles of the German midfield, trying to disrupt play and get on the ball. Not long after her entrance. Scott got in a tangle with fellow substitute Sidney Lohman. The two fell to the ground, Lohman grabbing Scott's shirt and tripping her in the process. The referee awarded Germany a free kick. Scott rose to her feet. She glared at Lohman and barked a phrase that will be remembered through the ages, fuck off, you fucking prick. The exchange was caught perfectly in close-up by the BBC cameras. Commentator Robin Cowan quickly responded to the slow-motion replay, saying, Apologies to any lip-readers. It was an iconic moment that epitomized so much of what makes Scott special and a brilliant counter to any journalist or media commentator professing that women's football is just good, clean fun. Even before the final whistle blew, Scott's slow-mo explosion had been cut up and memed on the internet.